what is up hg traders this is monia and welcome back again to my trading channel today i'm so excited to review this strategy to you guys it's a booming crash two in one strategy that's going to allow you to do both spike catching and scalping you're also you're going to be allowed to do spike catching and scalping and you're going to be using a one minute time frame uh, for this booming crash strategy so we want to take a look at this strategy and see if it is going to give us really good entries uh, for us to possibly trade with this strategy tell me what you guys think about this strategy when you've started thinking when you've started working on this strategy when you've started using this strategy comment down below how it's performing um, or send me some of the reviews to my uh, inbox okay so today this is what we want to concentrate on it's a very simple strategy we only have moving averages and two other indicators but uh, in general, as you can see, it's quite simple. We're going to be following some very simple concept. Uh, please also remember to make sure that before using these strategies, you know your price action. You know what's about the resistance is. You know your trend lines. You know how price moves. You know you understand that price uh, breathes in and out. That is not always going to go in your way. So make sure you have that in mind because you can't just trade uh, completely uh, from Norway. Okay, this is what will make you think that these indicators don't work because you're just going to use this basic information of which trading um, is made up of a lot uh, of concepts that you need and principles that you need to follow. Okay, so don't blame the strategy. It's rather better to blame yourself. Never blame the market. Never blame your strategy. Always blame yourself because uh, you are the one that's implementing these things. Okay, so... Uh, if you really don't understand your price action, if you really don't understand the basis of trading, make sure you sign up for my membership course where I will be teaching you all that you'll be able to understand what Bit the Market Maker explains. You'll be able to understand what ICT means and what they explain. You'll be able to understand all these price action concepts uh, that can help you uh, so that you can use these indicators as confluence when you are now trading um, on your own. So, uh, just like me, I also use price action. Even if I have indicators on my chart, I was to abide to the price action principles because those ones don't lie. The price action don't lie, okay? It's not lagging, it's selling you exactly what's happening in the market, okay? So let's get into uh, the settings for this indicator and then we'll talk about the conditions that have to be met whenever you are using this strategy. Uh, I think I've shown my results quite a lot of times and we don't want to waste time uh, on that if you want to see more of those results click the link in the description box below it will lead you straight to our free or free telegram channel where you can see my results my students results some of the posts that i post in there it's completely free to join just click the link in the description box below okay so let's get to the settings as usual i'll remove all these indicators because as you know we might have new uh traders right here joining us today on this channel uh, and if you're new to this channel please make sure you click that subscribe button and you turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss any of the videos that are going to come i will personally notify you when i post a video uh here on this channel okay uh, don't forget to also like this video to support this channel comment down below what you think your comments are all welcome um if you want a deeper understanding of this strategy or a part two make sure you comment down below if you have questions that you want me to ask to answer for you with a video i'll gladly do that i'll make a video just for you explaining everything and i'll post it right here so that everyone can also benefit from your question okay so the first indicator that i want to install is a moving average and this moving average is the following properties we've got a period of 30 a shift of zero a method of simple apply to close and then more levels and then on time frame yes on all time frames although we're just going to be concentrating on our one minute time frame and then the style i chose the color blue it's very necessary for you guys to follow the same color that i'm using so that you don't get lost because i might refer to these colors during this video okay so if you click down we should have something uh, like a blue line running across our charts uh, right now we're looking at crash 500 we're in our one minute time frame and we can already see that blue moving average running across our charts, which is good. The next indicator that we need is a moving average again on our main window. 
so i'm going to click on main window then go to moving average but this time the period is going to change we're going to need a period of 21 we're going to need a shift of zero and we're going to need a method of exponential so i'll change i'll quickly change that to exponential and then apply to close levels they're not they're not necessary for this video time frame or time frames and then the style i'll change this color to black okay okay so if i click down i should have a black line on my charts and i do so this is the first part and we have successfully installed uh indicators on our main chart what's left is our indicator window one okay so going to indicator window one the first indicator that we will need is the stochastic oscillator which is right here and the stochastic oscillator will have the following properties that you see on the screen uh, a percentage k period of one a percentage d period of one a slowing of one a price field of close over close a method of exponential and then the levels these are very important you're going to need level 80 and level 20 and then on your, your level 80 you will you you will label it as sell and then your level 20 you will label it as buy okay if you click done uh we're going back to the time frame all time frames and then the styling you need to make this the styling the same as your background color so i have a white background that's why my main and my signal are all white because we don't want any of these lines to appear on our charts we just need these levels only okay so if we click done and done we should only have levels on our chart like this basically a buy level is 20 going down and then the sell level is 80 going up okay which is good as you can see we have our indicators we have our main chart everything set last but not least we need the last um uh indicator which is our alligator so going back to indicators this time i'm going to click where it says indicator into one and we're going to go to where it says alligator and this is these are the properties of the alligator that you're going to be using for this strategy okay so i think you can write this down somewhere so we can save time on that or we can pause the video and write these settings um as you see them what i would want to clarify on is on the styling your jaws should have the same color as your background so i have a white background you make sure you choose white on your jaws if you have a white background like me if you have a black background then make sure you also choose black all right and then the teeth will be red and the lips will be blue okay this will allow us only to have two lines the red line and the blue line this is all we need to see okay after all these properties have been installed we only need to have the red and the blue line on our charts under our indicator window one so to confirm that you have done the right thing when you click done you should only have these two lines this red and this blue only these two in your indicator window one if you have more than two lines in your indicator window one then it means that there's something uh that you are doing wrong okay so we have successfully installed our strategy which means that we're just supposed we are now left with understanding how it works and we're now left with taking some live examples and seeing how this uh, all turned up okay so let's jump straight into that let's jump straight into that the first thing that i need to clarify is like i said we're going to be using the one minute time frame number two like i said you can do both scalp catching and going against the spikes number three is the zoom level we want to use the smallest zoom level use the smallest zoom level this one the smallest one this will um, save you from a lot of repaints save you from a lot of false alerts and it will actually give you some nice sniper entries you can you do it you're allowed to adjust uh, only to see your chance but you want you want to make an entry when you want to make an analysis make sure you are on your smallest zoom level okay so let's talk about the conditions before i get into that please make sure you have subscribed you have liked this video and you've commented down below uh if you get to forty thousand subscribers you know we're going to do a massive giveaway we're going to give away money we're going to give away accounts we're going to give away mentorship we're going to give away signals all that uh we're going to give away slots for account management for those that are interested um 
uh, and all that if you want to learn more about everything i've just mentioned like i said there's a link in the description box below that will take you to a telegram channel where you get a better understanding of all these things i'm talking about okay nonetheless let's get back to this video how do you trade with this strategy it's probably um pretty straightforward but i'll start off with one of these entries uh that i actually entered into if you are in my vip signals group you know about this cell uh crash 500 that we did this morning probably you see this video around 2 p.m or in the afternoon but in the morning we traded a crash 500 cell and this is where it came from so if you're in my vip signals group you know this signal we caught uh, these spikes we made some money from this trade and i want to explain to you how this strategy actually also predicted the same uh entry okay so i'll talk i'll first explain to you guys how you use this strategy okay obviously when you open your charts let's say you are yeah this is the chart this is how let's say all let's say this movement that we traded in our vip signals group is not has not yet happened you have something like this okay you open your charts you see this you're in a one minute time frame how do you trade how i like to trade is number one i, I move my charts i see how, how private the price was behaving uh before then i start marking my very important levels of course we've got this high we've got this high that we see yeah we can all agree that this is a very crucial price point that was the highest the market reached uh, closer to where we want closer to our current market price okay that's good i can see that there was an another high that was set which means price failed to reach this other top but bounced here okay i can see that it's a very crucial price point because i can also see that that's when a spike occurred here with two spikes so these are very crucial points if i go back i will probably see that we had a couple of more spikes occurring at that price level so i'm very sure that this is a very important price level that i'm at cool i'm going to go and look and look for another level and i can see that we have this low probably this low was respected a couple of times can you see in our price action this low was respected a couple of times which is the same as this one can you see so i know that when the price sets approaching that bottom red line there's a lot to expect i can also see that here with the turning point uh confirmed quite a number of times that this is a crucial price level as you can see every time we approach that level something was happening with my spikes can you see i'm using my price action but i also have indicators right price is too like this i can't see this movement that i posted in my vip we can't see it let's just pretend this is what we see now i'm trying to analyze i'm trying to get into the market i'm only seeing this and the market is moving and moving and moving right the market is moving and moving and moving and then it got to a point where the market my blue and my red line approached this 80 level which signifies my cell level remember the 80 level signifies a cell level which means whenever i see my price in my 80 level or anywhere above my 80 level like what happened there like what happened here i know that price is going to sell because it once did and we're also at a crucial price level where we marked our where we have that price zone okay so price did it again it approached my 80 level which means that i'm now looking at my charts i'm now looking at my charts i want to see something the moment i see the red and blue line at my 80 level i'm going to look at my main chart to look for something what am i looking for i'm looking for when my price is going to break my black and blue line and be below that because that signifies a sell to me that's how the strategy works at the same time i'm also seeing that we are using my price action we are at this level where price was actually bouncing 
price was bouncing, price was bouncing at this level. So even without my my indicators, we already have this red line that we talked about. You still remember it, where we said our price was, we were having major, uh, or we were having turning points at that price level. Okay, so whenever I'm approaching this line now, I already know that I'm expecting either a turning point or might actually break and go above. Doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to turn, but I know price is going to do something. Price is going to react to that price level. This is now in-depth price action, guys. I know price is going to react. What I'll wait for, for me to get an entry, is for my price to break my my moving average. So I'm going to zoom a little bit so that you guys can clearly see. But like I said, when you're analyzing, use the smaller zoom level, okay? So once my price breaks this red and black line, I know that we are breaking market structure. At the same time, I have this line working as my resistance. And I can see that we are facing resistance already. I was already expecting price to react to that price point, And it did react a couple number of times. First, it was this candlesticks. That was a reaction. Okay. And then we're having our price breaking our moving averages. And that's a confirmed sell. And I already know that price is breaking market structure, which means we are looking for sell opportunity and we can sell like this. If you're in my VIP group, you know about this entry. We did it in the morning. Probably you see this video a little bit later on, but this is how you analyze um, your market and you catch all these spikes. If you guys need a part two, I can see that this video is already too long. Uh, I'll do a part two. The same concept actually applies even if you want to enter a buy. Let me just explain a buy trade. And maybe we'll do a part two with with questions from you guys. I think it will help me understand or help me explain better to you guys so that you can get a better understanding uh, of all this. Uh, let's talk about the buy. Okay. I want to talk about this buy trade. I want to talk about this buy trade. But before I talk about it, I want to sort of like back test it i want to show you how to get to that how do you see that it's coming okay because some of you might actually say you know live trading i get i see all these funny comments that you're not live trading your data is off you are turned on you have, you have turned off your data the market is not moving this is back testing but we can do forward testing as well it's it's a thing back testing is a thing you can actually trade based on previous results and analyze the market to predict the future some of you act like big, big testing is no longer there because I'm doing it. But anyways, we want to try and forward test, right? We want to try and predict this buy trade before it actually happens. So we're not going to use anything that we see from the moment it actually happens. So it happened here, right? So we can't use anything to the right. We, only, we can only use things that are to the left before it actually happened. I think we can agree that's fair enough. Anyways, I'm not here to prove anything to anyone. Uh, how you actually trade uh, a buy opportunity in that case is we had already marked uh, our low levels where we were expecting price to bounce right and we were saying price was bouncing at this bottom level or price was reacting a couple of times to this price level as you can see even if you go back uh, price was still reacting here it also reacted so we are expecting that Okay, we're expecting that price is now heading towards this price level, which was being reacted to a couple of times. So, I'm seeing my price it reaches uh, my reaction price. At the same time, we are at our buy level. So, I already have two confirmations that we are going up. Number one, my price has reached the point where it usually bounces and goes up. At the same time, my indicators are telling me that we are. This is the stochastic oscillator, right? Mixed with um, uh, the alligator, and it's already telling me that we have reached, uh, we have sold too much. It's time to buy. But I want to enter. Can you see that I can't even use most of my indicators? I've only used one and price action. I can't still enter the trade. Why? Because I need a confirmation. The confirmation is going to come from having my price breaking our market structure and crossing to be above our moving averages can you see 
each and every time my price was below my moving averages and it was not breaking uh uh the market structure and whenever it actually broke here once but here we didn't even have the market structure so that thing was broken we couldn't even get an entry here at the same time even our indicator was not telling us anything it was right here there's no decision here the market is basically trading basically it's still in this cell actually the market is still in this cell so here we can count it as a breakout why because we're still in this downtrend but now we have our indicators telling that we are now done with that downtrend and we can see our price breaking to be above our moving averages showing a break in what the market structure and we could actually buy crash and go all the way up with it i don't want to make this video any longer guys if you have any other questions hopefully you listened up all the way up to this point for you to get deep understanding uh i'm sure those that have listened up to this point are the ones that are going to say we need the part two in the comment section so that's how i'm going to see those that watched up until the end because you guys will surely request a part two uh of explanations deeper on this strategy can you see how we can actually break down the market and not miss anything i don't even need to do live trading you guys can clearly see uh how the market is traded okay of course there's more to how the market is traded i cannot explain everything in 15 minutes or in 10 minutes of or talk about everything about uh, talk about the co all the correct ways of trading in just 15 minutes obviously i'll talk about this i will talk i'll talk about a few things about trading and that's why i p try to post each and every day so if you guys really enjoy that if you want me to keep posting each and every day you learn something new about trading doesn't matter if you're changing a strategy there's a concept that you're going to learn there's a principle that you're going to learn that's different there's a way of looking at the market that you're going to see if you spend more time doing something so i hope that answers those that say why do you post different strategies every day i don't say change but i'm saying it is going to open your mind to see the market in a different way rather than just focusing on one thing you will never understand how exactly the market works so i hope you guys are going to practice this first on your demo accounts before moving on to your real accounts because trading is very um, risky and you need to manage your risk until next time